if you do not like the hair in less than 50 days you get the money back shed proof tango proof what is that hair is it jesus hair <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, I'm so happy you are. How are you doing? How is the day going? Thank you for stopping by and if you're returning, welcome! And if you're new, welcome back. So before I start the video today, please do not forget to subscribe, like and share and leave a comment. You know what? This is the lit, lit, lit Cherish OIZ channel, okay? So moving on, today's video is kind of... It's gonna be a little bit of what I usually talk about. I know I love to talk about story times and if you've not checked out my story times, please do. So today's video, I will call it an investigative video because I'll be reviewing some companies that I have not actually bought a product from them, but I seriously feel like this company is a big scam and I've been seeing this thing going on for about two months now and I'm thinking this is the biggest scam on social media right now it's the biggest hair beauty scam i've ever seen it's the biggest hair like wigs supplies scam i've ever seen i know this is quite weird as to why i'm making a video okay so let me just tell you guys a backstory so two months ago i was thinking of getting a new wig because my duration is coming up you know girl is done with undergrad so i was like you know i want to change my style i initially wanted to do gray or blue hair because you guys know i love colors but all my friends are like, you're carrying blue hair to your duration, I'm not coming. My friends are very conservative, so I decided to look out for like maybe a black short coily hair. You know, within my budget, initially I was going to buy the wig and try to do it myself. But I wanted all frontal, so I was just looking up, up stores and everything. So one day on my Instagram page, I saw this. The first company I saw was called ONYG Wigs. So they had like this video of a girl, you know, touching her hair and everything. So I clicked shop now and saw the prices. The first thing that got me were the prices. I was like, what? $19 for a full frontal coily jet black hair. I was like, is it goat hair they are giving to me? Like, it was too good to be true. And I, I was going through the website and I was seeing different girls' pictures and I could see that most of the girls were like UK bloggers. Some of them I didn't know their names but I could tell I had stumbled on their page before or I've seen them on someone's page. I also saw Pick Meal. I also saw, I believe, the owner of Freedom Virgin Fantastic Hair or Virgin Fantastic Hair. I saw her pictures also and everything. I, I was just looking through the website. There was too much going on. They're like, this hair is coming straight from India. Elim um, eliminating middlemen, you know, straight from the source. And I'm like, if it's straight from the source, why is it not just raw wig? So, are you telling me people in India now make wigs for like a lot of girls that put on wigs these days? So, I was still like, okay, maybe this is a new business idea and everything, but I didn't have money for it regardless because my mind was not settled on it. Like, it was just not looking, I wasn't convinced at all. So weeks went by, I, I kind of like, you know how on Instagram you save but you don't buy So I went through comments and most of the comments were like in Spanish, you know, like they were all like Spanish words I was just like, okay So weeks went by, another store popped up on my page And you know what this store was? It was called Lucky Store, Lucky Store Weeks, I believe so I clicked on it and I was just like, ah, why did it, like, it looked like I had been there before. Then I noticed a pattern. I was like, okay, so when you click on these links, it won't take you to a website called Lucky Store. Instead, it will take you to a website called vphlwigs.com. Then if you look at the banner, you will see it's pure lace. It's called Pure Lace Wigs or something like that. So at this point, I was just like, you know what? I have saved the previous one. Let me go to my saved item because I, I was under the category called wigs. Because anytime I see wigs or hair I'm interested in, I'll put like, because now my Instagram have like, you know, stationed it up. I'll put like hair options, hair on my mind, something like that. So I went there and I looked at the former one. I was like, wow, this is so similar and everything. So that was when I decided to go on YouTube. I went on YouTube and I could not find any review on both brands. I could not find a review on Lucky Store. I could not find a review on ONYG Wigs. I was like, ah, this is quite weird because in this modern generation, when a wig store is coming up or a wig brand, a wig supplier, the first people they look out for is like 
people that could give reviews and at the time i went through the website there were no reviews on the website as well so now another week went by at this point i just like you know this is one of my old weeks it's my graduation let me not spend all the money i do not have you know what i'm saying so i went on my facebook to promote one of my latest youtube video i uploaded and i saw another ad and this ad was coming from ONYC. So previously I was talking about ONYG. Now there's another ad called ONYC Weeds. So this ad too was like, you know, come by now, come by now, eliminating middlemen and everything. And I clicked on it and it was still the same link vplhweeds.com. The same pictures and everything. So at this point, I cycled, I had gone across three week stores that have very similar pictures very similar claims very similar layout everything and all that so after all this had happened to me i think recently i was thinking of making this video but i was so busy so recently i was on youtube just binge watching you know i was kind of bored so i just went on youtube and i was watching all my favorites started discovering new people leaving a comment you know that kind of thing trying to network with people that have youtube channels and youtube channels and all that so i decided to check one more time to see if there's a review on this brand and no there were no reviews so this time i decided to go through the comments of the three brands i'm talking about so particularly if you go to lucky store you would notice that the comments everybody is writing like caplock do not buy from them complete scam i also and lucky for me i was able to find only one video on youtube about a lady talking about i think it's um onyc wigs and it was an older lady i do not know her name but i'll try to leave the comments below and she showed videos of these wigs guys these wigs look like they were goat hair or something very synthetic there's no freaking lace front and nowhere they put in like some plastic like they said it smelled so bad and every other thing so these are my rundown points on how to spot this website i only discovered three but i believe there's so much more going on this might be a full-on scam a full-on business for someone you might be surprised to find that it might never be a girl doing it. it might be like a colleague of old guys i'm just saying after watching breaking bad my mind is going everywhere so the first point i would like to point out if you were to go to any website if the price is below if the price is like $29, $23, $19 and they said it's real human hair, I would say that's the first thing you should look out to question about like it can't be like it needs to be processed. People work on those hair and they pay them. So it's like how much do they pay them for them to be able to sell it to you for $19 and inclusive of that they say free shipping. Free shipping. Okay, that's weird. And another thing I noticed about them, so I'm just going to see them in point form now. All these three websites I just opened, talked about had the same pictures. You also see Brini Lee, I think that's her name is pronounced. The UK blogger, I believe she talks about motivation, ladies, celibacy, something of that sort, yes. You also see Brittany Lee's picture and everything. It's the same picture, the same layout. One other thing I noticed is they have no Instagram presence or YouTube presence. So when I went through the entire website, I decided to search for their name on YouTube, on Instagram like a normal page. And it's weird to find out that a hair company that had such claims of being able to sell good hair and everything, I could not find their Instagram page. Like legit, I could not find it. So it was obvious to me that they were either promoting on Instagram through Facebook, which is why I found the third one on Facebook, or it's just weird i was able to find only one brand on facebook on instagram i'll say and it was the onyc wigs and when i went there there were no pictures of the brand like there were no pictures on the page so just like i don't understand if it's not a scam who would be doing business have an instagram page and not post their products please explain to me the reason behind that if you're not trying to be invincible and make a lot of coins because think about it if they sell 50 hair in a day of everybody paying 19 us dollars and they're making this promo internationally guess how much they make plus shipping costs that they won't send you any hair or you receive some goat hair or synthetic wig that you didn't bargain for another thing i noticed was there's no face to the company like although i know some people um, start up a business not everybody will want to say okay this is my business you know like me i sell lashes and contacts 
everybody knows it's my business like you see my face on my on my business page but i'm not like saying ceo is me but obviously the name of my, my business page is cherish or oh, um cherish official and if i repost my picture of me putting on my product it's kind of obvious because my name is cherish o isaac so it's kind of like obvious and if you dm the page and you want to know who owns the, the page i would say it's me like there's nothing he didn't know that is on about that but there's no face to this business because if they had an instagram page then you obviously know the owner right yes you obviously know the owner and sharing his head and that thing i noticed was when you run the website it was just too much guarantee if you do not like the hair in less than 50 days you get the money back if you did not like the hair full refund guaranteed hair quality guaranteed do not shed do not this everything was guaranteed and it was just that nobody really guarantees hair that much and you're like shed proof tangle proof what is that hair is it jesus hair is shed proof and um, this proof everything is proof 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 it's like the perfect hair from wherever there were just too much claims on the website that made it look like mm, this is too fishy okay this is too fishy so as the video i watched of the older lady she said that if you pay through paypal paypal has a limit to how many days could go by for you to ask for a refund and i read someone comment that said she did buy from the website but based on the fact she paid through paypal and the head came like 30 days or 35 days after and when she saw the hair when she asked for a refund it was too late for the money to refund it back to her so this might also be their tactic every refund has a limited time at which you could return the product back so they send you the hair so late like three months in when it's so late that you can't even refund like actually refund because paper won't grant it right because it's just like okay we'll deliver something that five days after well they do another thing you guys should look out for is the fact that the pictures that are used in these three websites are exactly the same the only difference is they may just change some few pictures but they are exactly the same and most all of them claim to be pure lace human hair so guys this is all i have for you guys today yes i did not um, purchase from the website but i believe that this point i have delivered to you guys would show that it's a scam and i'm just letting you guys know because i know how it's so painful a sharing maybe you're planning like a birthday party or something like you really need the hair and money is not to be spent on feeding people that have selfish desires okay so that's all i have to say for you guys if you do like my video please subscribe leave a comment let me know i'm not being stupid let me know that what i'm saying is making sense and all that and do not forget to watch my other videos okay love you guys and see you guys in other videos of mine bye <laughs>